Hello and welcome, I am that James guy and today we've got ourselves a, another little guide. This one is on the vision design as you can no doubt tell from the title and the thumbnail. We are going to be looking at a number of divisions. We've got three here in the UK and then we have a further two over, or three rather, over in Germany which we will be looking at. Um, so we'll be taking this doctrine by doctrine. We're only covering the two most used doctrines in uh, multiplayer, which are of course superior firepower and then mobile warfare, which I have strapped onto the UK and onto Germany. And as I said, we've got six designs to look at. Four of them are the same, just slightly tweaked for the doctrine, and then the remaining two are sort of the same for both sides but slightly tweaked again. So we'll jump in and look at your generic line division which is what I call your sort of defensive infantry that stands around and gets in the way. So here she is, the line infantry division for the superior firepower doctrine. Key things to remember with superior firepower you want to make sure you're using all of your support company slots, make the most out of the integrated support branch of your land doctrine, and then it's fairly simple. 20 width, golden rule is always 20 width for defense, 40 width for offense, and straight infantry to get that org as high as possible, and then using your support companies to get your defense stat and your soft attack up. If we now go and look at the same division, but from the perspective of mobile warfare. So once again, we're looking at the line division. For mobile warfare, you'll see the soft attack stat is lower, as is the defense stat. Org is so much higher, and then you've just got the single shovel for the support company. You can, if you so desire, add in the support artillery and support AA to improve it. My recommendation would probably be just the AA if you're harbouring under enemy air superiority. If you're not, you can just leave it out. But the key thing to remember with mobile warfare is you get so much org from your mobile infantry branch that you want to just use that for your advantage. More but cheaper line infantry divisions for mobile warfare. Next up. Division type number two, we will once again go over to Britain and start the superior firepower. And we're looking at the slightly cheaper 10 width Coast Guard. In multiplayer, it does depend a bit on the rules and where you're putting them. I personally prefer to use 20 width Garrison and Coast Guard divisions, but sometimes needs must and the 10 width can be useful. The superior firepower, just a shovel, and the support artillery. Or once again, if you're harbouring under enemy air superiority, you can switch the artillery out for a support anti-air. And that gives you a nice defensive, but much smaller division. The Coast Guard, if you need to spam something out nice and quickly. And we'll jump back over to Germany and look at their Coast Guard. Yep, you guessed it, the same as the line division. 10 width, just a shovel, cheap, cheerful, high org, gets in the way, slows the enemy down. So that's the shared divisions, or mostly the shared divisions. We will now go and look at the third division, the uh, resistance template, which is the most optimal I have not researched the uh, military police. Bear with me one moment and we will be right back. Research on icon clip. This is a really useful tool by the way. If you're ever designing divisions or just sort of trying to work out how you want to plan ahead and things, doing the old research on icon click very very helpful and allows you to just test things out really quickly and easily. Make sure we've picked that up. There we go. Go back to the resistance template. Because of the way military police works, you get a suppression bonus 
as a percentage. Cavalry is the most cost-effective way to handle resistance. It has the highest flat suppression other than armoured car, which are slightly... No, that's not the right place. Which are slightly better at suppression. You get... Uh, where is it in the big long list of things? 0.6 suppression from an armoured car, and you get... Sorry, that's a uh, per per uh, thing per uh, column. The two point uh, the 0.6 increase. So it is 0.1 more. Um, the armored cars are far more industry intensive. I personally like to just do a 50 width of cavalry, one military policeman to make most of the 20% suppression bonus, get 60 suppression. If you were absolutely drowning in industry, what you could do is switch this out to armoured cars and you would end up with a massively more expensive division that was some terrible english there wasn't it a massively increased in cost division um however you would save on manpower the manpower requirement is now twelve and a half thousand ah basically your suppression is 75 so it's 15 higher However, your production cost goes from 6,000, or is 6,000 compared to the cavalry, it's 1,800. Plus, you're far more likely to have the guns lying around that you need for this, and manpower typically is never your biggest concern. But 50 width of cavalry, one military policeman, that will limit your sort of resistance equipment woes that you may run into. Uh, this template is also the same for both superior firepower and mobile warfare. The only thing I would say is that um, if you are low on army experience, this template does cost 90, around 110 experience if you're uh, doing it from the start. So it's 50 width, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, times 5, 50. Right, is it 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 50, 100, 100 and 10, 20, 125 XP from cavalry, sorry, and then another 10 for the military policeman, so it's 135 XP. But lots of countries do start with the cav template with some, so typically it's around 100 XP. If you don't have that because you're, you know, you, you've not kicked off the war yet, or you're playing Britain, so you're not fighting much land battle many land battles and your xp gain is low just keep adding on to it with whatever spare xp you get and you will soon see that your equipment and manpower cost for garrisons are ridiculously low now the final template we're going to be looking at is the special forces offensive infantry template um this is the good old-fashioned 14-4 there, it's a 40 width template, so it's for offense as opposed to defense. And it has line artillery in it, four of, and then the remaining slots filled up with your special forces of choice, be that mountaineer or uh, marines, basically. Okay, um, you can obviously do this template as just plain infantry instead of as a special forces. However, typically speaking, if you want to attack something, then you want to use tanks, basically. Um, unless that thing that you're attacking is a special forces drop, like a mountain defensive line, or over the Stalin line river, or naval invading roads, or Sicily. At which point, marines are obviously the go-to call, or mountaineers in their respective jobs. My personal preference is that I would never really use 14 falls in multiplayer. You're far better off using tanks if you're attacking something, so do bear that in mind. But the special forces template does derive from that 14 4 standard, has higher soft attack than a normal 20 width division does, and of course you're making the most out of your support company bonuses that you get with superior firepower. 
like the integrated support bonus that gives you the bonuses to support company soft attack and organization. If you're playing superior firepower, it is more tech investment. However, it is worth it. Quite often my preferred doctrine is superior firepower. But there you have it. Six infantry templates. Two, four of them are duplicates for different doctrines. But we have now covered the essential templates that you need for multiplayer for infantry. And I will be recording a video which will probably be released tomorrow, which is going to be the same thing, but for tanks. And there are five tank templates that you need to know. So do check back tomorrow for that. And if you have any questions about division design, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments or ask them on my Discord server. And we will be back as soon as we can. Thank you very much, guys. And I hope to see you guys again. Ta-ra for now.